Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new trading week in the um, United States at Wall Street. The earnings season is coming, and there are mixed uh, forecasts um, or about how the earnings season will be. Fact said, that is one data provider, expects a 2% decline um, uh, in the third quarter earnings uh, compared to the third quarter of the last year which would be the sixth decline in a row. Standard & Poor's expects a boost in earnings. They are more bullish on that side. Um, so that will be very important how strong actually the earnings on Wall Street will be because we've got several headwinds already. We've got the elections, we've got a stronger US dollar, we've got higher yields. And now if there were to come weaker earnings that could really pressure um, the equity prices on Wall Street and that would be a bad backdrop for a seven and a half years old bull market that we have there. Then we've got Mario Draghi actually on Saturday saying that the inflation targets will only be reached at the end of 2018 or at the beginning of 2019 so there is still time and that also means that there will be no stop to or no ending to um, easy monetary policy in March 2017 when the current QE program will run out. Price bubbles, um, that was what Mario Draghi also said, there are no evidence for price bubbles in, uh, in, in the Eurozone, uh, at least in his opinion. And um, what is interesting is that he expects that by year end and in the first month of 2000, 2017, the inflation in the Eurozone could start to pick up and go to 1%. Now, the ECB has been wrong in regards to inflation for three and a half years in a row because they set an inflation target of 2% and um, actually um, like engaged in several unconventional monetary policy measures to get inflation up there, but they failed. But now they expect that inflation will go up until the year end to 1% and um, so that could be very positive actually for the markets because we know that after the Brexit referendum what um, investment funds did, they pulled out money out of the European stock markets in record um, quantities and they invested in the United States, they invested in the emerging markets because they expected that there will be continued deflation in the Eurozone. Now, if inflation were to pick up, as Mario Draghi expects in the past months, in the last months of this year and in the first months of next year, that could be a positive sign because it could mean that investment funds could diversify back from the US and from emerging markets back to the Eurozone. And that would be very positive for equity markets there. Another potentially very positive um, development is the Basel Committee, which is considering adjustments to its March consultation paper on operational risk. And that could also mean that they will uh, somehow loosen their uh, capital restrictions, which they um, uh, say that banks must have. And that would be, together with rising inflation rates, would be a positive sign for the banking sector in the Eurozone. Now, there has been another presidential um, debate on Sunday. And if you look at the Mexican peso, which is like the thermometer for, uh, for Trump and the chances of Trump becoming president, the um, uh, Mexican peso is gapping up versus the US dollar on Monday trading. So markets are voting against um, Donald Trump once again and in favor of Hillary Clinton again once again.